What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 276 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. Especially with the holidays coming up right around the corner, hopefully this gives you some good inspiration of some new things to add to your setup to make it better. If you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out, but we'll kick it off now. Episode 276. First up today, we have Styles of Man from Instagram. Shout out to a fellow Frank. And we've had him on a few years ago. This his newer setup. Really digging the warm, earthy tones here. As you can tell by the wooden accents all throughout. With obviously the desktop, which is an uplift desk for the wooden panels on his fractal case. And the hexagon panels on the wall. Getting into his gear, his primary display there is an HP Omen 27 inch monitor. And then over on the left side mounted is the LG Dual Up monitor. These are super interesting. It's a 28 inch 16 by 18 ratio display. So nearly a square, great for productivity, viewing social media, or you know, pretty much anything. Down to his peripherals, we have a QK65 keyboard here, looking really nice with his keycaps. The Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, it's on one of those extended work pads from Orbit Key. And then up on the Oakie Wood desk shelf for his speakers, they're the Creative Pebble V3. And then also for audio, he has the Master and Dynamic headphones. So even the headphones here matching to his entire setup aesthetic. Then, like I said before, with even his PC tying the setup together, that is the Fractal North case. We don't have any information on specs or any of the gear that's inside. He did put together a little splash reel for us, uh, showing off the setup, though. But like I said, I'm just really digging the way the earthy tones with all the wood, it all ties together so nicely. Got the pegboard to keep a lot of the extra clutter off the desktop so you can have some things. As you can see, like a controller, a duster, some notebooks up on the pegboards so it's not adding more clutter and to really the desk. digging his choice of hardware and the peripherals here definitely got some good taste so like i said we had him on a few years ago styles of man over on instagram i'll definitely link him down below got some really great content and as you can see a really really great setup next up we have ty and take a second to just try to comprehend what's going on here this is wild. This is a Millennium Falcon cockpit that he bought off Etsy to put into his house in Bangkok to act as a dedicated studio and workspace. This looks incredibly cool. I mean, I had no idea you could buy something like this on Etsy, but I mean, if it works, it works. And as you can see, it looks pretty badass in this use case. So inside is a massive 49 inch Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 monitor, all powered by his MacBook Pro 13 inch. Down to his peripherals, he's a KT680 Pro from Maka Nike. I apologize if I butchered that. With a Logitech MX Master 3 mouse and a Delta Hub Carpio wrist rest. And in the back, we have the Daivun Pixu 64 acting as a pixel display with the Harman Kardon Soundstick 4 speakers. One thing that's really cool that he did is for this pegboard, all of the cables are those like glowing USB cables that glow when powered. So it just adds to that whole cockpit feel really being futuristic and just bizarrely unique in all the best ways. Like imagine just rolling up to someone's house and they got this cockpit in it that looks so futuristic and dope. It's a really good juxtaposition as well because it looks futuristic while the environment is very, like, rustic. Gotta give it to you, Ty. This really is one of the most unique setups I've seen in the 276 episodes so far, and you pulled it off very nicely. Now we have Camplet with, again, some more nice earthy tones. Always love the wooden accents in contrast to the green wallpaper. And in this case, even has those nice light green walls. Definitely complements each other really nicely. And I spy another fractal case. So hopping right into this one, the main display is actually an LG TV. This is a 42 inch 4K OLED TV acting as the primary you know monitor and it's funny because at first glance like just judging the scale of the setup it doesn't seem like a 48 inch tv then you take a look at the feet on the monitor stand and then it adds up in terms of scale 
For his peripherals, he actually has a mix of a few different ones. His primary here is a Cannon Key Satisfaction 75 with Gazoo Boba U4T switches inside, and Osum Matcha keycaps with the third Logitech MX Master 3S now in a row. For when he's gaming, he completely switches it up to a Wooting 60 HE with Angry Meow Glacier keycaps and a Logitech G502 Lightspeed gaming mouse. And then just for some more chill productivity, an all white keyboard with the Mode 65, also some Gazoo Bubble U4T switches, and GMK minimal keycaps. And then for audio on the monitor stand, you see the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. And also in the back, he has like the Elgato Stream Deck Mini and a Seiko Victory Clock. Really digging that. And then we have a monitor light bar on top of the TV. Now over to that Fractal North case. God, why haven't I done a build inside this yet? Every time I see it, I just like it more and more. But we have an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D CPU with an NZXT Kraken Z73 AIO. You can see he has like the little clock on the display there. 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM and an Asus ROG Strix RTX 3080 Ti graphics card. And a little peek underneath the desk for some cable management. Very, very clean. Gets my approval for sure. And so does everything else. Camp let loving the triple peripheral sets here to switch it up as you please a very nice and cozy setup and again i'm loving the color theme all around here that shade of green complimenting that wooden desktop looks so good next up we have amar murik and i am absolutely loving this new setup here's another one that we had probably around a year ago at this point and it has changed dramatically because this is an entirely new setup in a different space and if i could i probably said this about his last setup too but if i could just take this and put it in my house and substitute it i totally would because this is what i want to do with my new setup space because it's just the it's, it's perfection what else can i say about this you're seeing the pictures as we roll along the entire space seems really cool got the natural lighting in his own little coffee bar going on i mean come on let me just chill here let, let me have all this if i could hire you to help me out with the setup i totally would but let's dive into some of the gear i've been blabbering long enough his primary display is an lg 38 inch ultra wide the 38 gn 950 that's a custom wallpaper he has as well. And by the way, for the holidays on his site, if you use code RANDOMFRANKP, you can get all three of his monitor wallpaper packs for free. And you can see each of them come with a bunch and they really look nice. So definitely hop on those. I'll link that down below. But man, I just, I can't get over how nice this looks. His keyboard is the Low Free Flow with the fourth Logitech MX Master 3S mouse in a row. I swear this is not sponsored with the Argon Audio Fenris A5 speakers, in addition to the Edifier WH950NB headphones. We do have a PC underneath the desk with the Fractal Define R5, also not sponsored by Fractal either, and inside's a, a Ryzen 3900 XT, and that's paired with an RX 6900 XT for the GPU. But honestly, for me, this setup isn't even about the specs. Like, it's that's the last thing I cared about when I was checking them out because I just loved seeing the way this entire space came together. Like, even this little zone over here just to hang out and relax, drink the coffee, take the day in. This is a thing of perfection. Again, I will link him down below. His Instagram is bonkers with some really great setup stuff. And also to those wallpaper packs you can get for free. I am in love. And then rounding us out today, we have Isaac with his bedroom set up here. As you can see, got the bed over on the right side. Lots of green with the ivy and the plants sprinkled around to add some more vibrance to the room. But it all looks very clean and organized, which you have to have if it's a bedroom setup because you don't want to be sleeping next to mess, right? So this is doing it all right. Now the entire setup is powered by a 2021 14-inch MacBook Pro. You can see he has a docked up there behind the monitor, so definitely more of a productivity setup at that. And speaking of which, that is a 4K 32-inch Dell monitor. Their ultra sharp panels are very, very popular. And for some extra lighting on the desktop, we have a monitor light bar mounted right up top there, and two lights on each side. Uh, not sure if they're like specific streaming lights or something like that. You usually see those for a streaming setup, uh, but they are mounted right there. For its peripherals, we have the Keychron K4 V2 keyboard with Akko Carbon Retro keycaps on them. 
And I swear to God, guys, not sponsored. The Logitech MX Master 3S mouse, although it's not pictured, it's what he provided in the specs. Really digging the audio setup here, we have a Fio K7 amp DAC powering the Hi-Fi Man Edition KS headphones, and also on each side of the desk are the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. Really good stuff here from Isaac, nice and tidy, always love to see that. Always gonna have a plus one for a nice wooden desktop and some plants, so this one's doing all the things right. This episode is sponsored by Corsair and the HS80 Max wireless headset. Ditch the cables and play up to 65 hours on a single charge, getting the most out of your gameplay with their custom 50 millimeter neodymium drivers. Using IQ, you can lock a ton of different preset EQs to make your game sound the best with their multi-platform connectivity over PC, Mac, PlayStation, Mobile, Switch, and more. If you want to upgrade your audio gear, now's the time. Check out the new Corsair HS80 Max in the description down below. So, all right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 276 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. Like I said before, all the tech you saw today will be listed for you in the description down below. So you can check it out to hopefully improve your setup come the holidays. Some good wish list ideas, things maybe find on sale as well. If you liked this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.